Well, hello, hello, everybody. Uh, in today's video, we're just going to be messing with the uh, Any. Uh, since there's going to be a whole revamp that's happening with Any coming up uh, probably somewhere around September uh, 2021. Uh, Any's been completely, all the spells kind of been uh, revamped, not replaced, not tweaked, but the Any just plays way differently than what we've been used to. So we're just going to get right to it. Even the any from the from the PC doesn't play like this at all. It's exciting, and I'm here with my uh, Inu as well, just so I could show off some of these uh, new spells. So I run a an intelligence any um, to just full support and really just a fire hitter in the team. She does have a little bit of uh, agility just because uh, of her set. Um, so she has about 500-ish agility, if we count the power. Um, so she has uh, Nemeros and, and this new uh, set from the Tanukis from the new Pandala. So that's what she runs. So overall, just intelligence with a splash of agility. I did mess with the Any beforehand. Uh, and I kind of laid out the spells in a way that I would lay them out once, once the update hits. So I put the intelligence spells all together, all in one place, healing spells, uh, the Kony, and then the, the new summons, and then the, uh, the chance spells at the top, since um, I don't use the chance spells at all. They don't really have a lot of synergy. Uh, so right off the bat, uh, let's get into it. A heartwarming word. This is going to be your new bread and butter spell. Uh, this spell, when you target an enemy, it's going to hit them. And... Yeah, let's let's whack the uh can't really show off these healing spells effectively if uh if everybody's at full HP. Okay, so and then when you target a an ally or a friend, it's gonna heal them. Uh the spell itself it doesn't hit as hard as Wounding Word would have been. I, I with Wounding Word I used to hit like around five hundred ish. High five hundred ish maybe. But the the plus side is that you know, you got this whole two-for-one deal. Uh, you don't have a dedicated attacking spell or a dedicated healing spell anymore. Even a dedicated healing spell. Which is awesome. You know, makes room for other stuff. So that's Heartwarming Word. Uh, next up, we're going to mess with Sparkling Word. So this spell so this spell is more on the support side. So if we move the Inu next to the uh, punching bag here. And let's, let's hit the Inu again. Let's just beat him up a little bit. Alright, so we got him low enough. Okay, so we heal him. Uh, 340. A crit. With the heal, which is not, not bad at all. Um, but if we use... Sparkling Word. On the... On the enemy, and since the Inu is gonna get is right next to it, it's good, he's gonna get, receive a little bonus because he's right next to it. So this is gonna be awesome if you play a team with uh, close combat hitters who would just like to be up in the opponent's face. So let's hit the pouch, and this attack hits pretty decent. Uh, the only thing is once per turn. But let's check the Inu. Since the Inu was next to the punching bag, it got a. Uh, it's going to get a little bonus, 15% more heals on it. So now we heal the Inu. 379. And it lasts a couple of turns, which is awesome. Let's see if we get a crit. So we could compare. 379. Of course, we're not going to get a crit. Him up a little bit. Sparkling word on the pouch again. Three ninety four on a crit. Pretty good bump and damage. And overall, I mean, it's something that's going to happen naturally. You're not going to be looking for the setup. So yeah, it's a nice little bonus when you use sparkling word. Which heartwarming? You only use twice per target. 
So you want to do heartwarming, heartwarming, and then maybe sparkling. That's kind of like your, your three hit combo. So there's going to be some use to it. With that being said, I'm not sure if I would want to push this spell to level 6. Maybe. Um, because of the heal buff effect it gives, uh, it does have a lot of synergy with the healing spells overall. But it is once per turn, which is a huge downside. It hits alright. But I think it has more negatives than plus. But let's move on. Uh, next up is Piercing Word. So Piercing Word is interesting. So Piercing Word is going to be one of your spells that's going to mark uh, your targets. And marks are the new states that the enemy's going to be able to put targets under. Uh, there's going to be Curse Marks for enemies and Bless Marks for allies. And no matter what three branches you go with, they're going to play a, a pretty big part on, on how you play your enemy. Let's talk about the Bless Mark. Uh, it's going to work more or less the same way that the effect of Sparkling Word. Uh, puts on just a percent bonus in healing, but it's going to be way more effective except the bonus with With the bless mark is 30% more 130% more which is a pretty big bump when it comes to heals Sparkling work actually, you know what? Let's check this out. Let's see the stacks Okay, so the Inu Okay, so the Inu is still blessed so if we hit the pouch, the sparkling, oh look at that, you can stack it, 113, no, what is that, 110, 130, whoa, 440, almost 450 on a regular non-crit hit, which is pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie, uh, here let's, let's see if we, Squeeze a crit. Let's see what a crit looks like. So let's speed up the inner. And the inner, I just have them here on my iPad. It's just switching back and forth. Okay, oh, we almost killed him. Alright, so we got him low enough. Alright, so let's. Let's hit, let's hit the, the bag. Spark and then let's bless. Uh, there's more ways to bless. Um, if you give them AP, uh, stim, stim did change. Uh, with is going to change with this update. Uh, it's just going to give one target to AP now, which is similar to if you guys are familiar with PC. This it works the same way, but it's going to bless a target as well. So if we okay, so now it's 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 got the spark bonus and the bless mark. Ooh, look at that, 500 on him. Uh, another thing to keep in mind too is the bless mark wears off once an action is used on it. Think of it like a, it's just like a one-time deal. So once you trigger the one charge, it kind of goes away. So as you see here with the Inu, uh, it got rid of the bless mark pretty much. So yeah, you, you kind of just take advantage of it once. It's kind of it's kind of lame in that regard, but that was a quick demo on it. And lastly, there is the uh, unsettling word, uh, which is kind of it's kind of hits pretty hard. Uh, 42 to 43 uh, damage on a crit, which is it's gonna hit pretty consistently. Um, so if we use it, 600, which is not bad. Uh, the only thing it's it is a one-time use, and it does have a cooldown. Let's see if we get a crit out of it. And this is going to be a nice mobility option for the any, especially in PvP. Once you locked an any, that was kind of it for it. Um, especially when you had a lock against the wall when it couldn't really push things out of the way. Now it just uh, it just flies away. Gotta put those wings to use, right? Like say I'm up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just let's see if we get the crit. Ooh, 750. That's a, that's a pretty solid hit right there. So a lot of people were saying oh, that the any lost a little bit of its luster, it was ruined, it's terrible now. But man, it's just a more dynamic class with options now. Um, obviously Heartwarming Word does not hit as hard as Winning Word, but you're going from one attacking spell to four. I don't know how some of y'all call 
going from one attacking spell to four a nerf. Um, and this can be used with an ally too. Like, a, like I said, this could be used as a get off of me uh, attack. But when you use it on an ally, um, it's just going to swap. It's not going to do a whole lot of nothing. Uh, very similar to the Sax swapping spell. So, so if I do it on Inu. So let's say I'm like here. I'm locked. No, oh, I can't move. I'm locked. Oh no, poor me. Nope. I could swap. Uh, that could be. That could have been like a summon. That could have been another uh, enemy. So there you go. Any safe. Also, the potential for setups is huge with this spell too. So we also have a uh, revitalizing word, which more or less works the same way. It's just kind of AOE healing. The only plus side is if if somebody is at max health already. So say like the any here was at max health, they're gonna receive a buff, uh, which is gonna reduce damage by five percent pretty much. Uh, which is not bad. I mean, it's it's small, but can you stack it? I don't think you can stack it. No, it doesn't stack. But it could add up in a fight. Um, and now if we attack the any. 391, 126, so 126 on the coin, comes down to 1, 148, so it reduced like 20 damage, which like I said it could add up especially with multi, when you get hit with multi uh, hit attacks. Daggers, it's gonna be a, a good way to kind of, not a total replacement to uh, Preventing Word, but it, it'll definitely have its uses. It's gonna be awesome. Revitalizing Word, definitely uh, a spell I definitely see myself using. Uh, another healing spell, Word of Recovery, more or less, works, works the same way. And the other one that changed was Word of Altruism. So this one, you need to have a bless, so you need to bless your team pretty much. Uh, for it to work otherwise it just totally whiffs <laughs> uh so here let us so so if i use it right now it's not gonna do anything because the inu is not blessed but let's bless him with stim now if i use it i ran out of time here so let's hear it let's use it it's gonna heal everybody who is blessed. So, so the any, is there any bless? Let's double check. It, including the caster. Heal, okay, so the any must have been blessed. So it healed the Inu. So as you notice, the uh, spell wasn't as potent as it was before. This is another big change to it as well. Beforehand, it was it was pretty OP. Uh, now it only heals 20% of their HP. So you gotta keep that in mind. Let's beat up the email a little bit. Okay, so let's check out uh, the Kony. Kony went through a big change as well. Here, let's check him out. So now if we summon the Kony. The Kony's gonna have different states. Uh, the states are going to be dictated by the different elements. Right off the bat, the Kony's in the fire state, which is just going to run around healing like it used to. But now you can switch it to air and water states. And you could also you could stem the, the Kony. And something you might want to do at the beginning of the turn, you know, it's AP or Kony, and then hit them with the uh, overwhelming word. So overwhelming word is going to switch him to the water state. So I kind of laid out the um, my spells here. So I got the Kony here and the three spells are kind of modified as states. Each of the three branches of the any is going to have a spell that's going to modify the Kony. Overwhelming is going to be used to switch him to water, resonating uh, to air, and heartwarming back to fire. So, so you saw here when he's under the water state, water is going to be your your power, your damage branch for the any now. It kind of used to be that way more or less, but now it's like really solidified that this is the damage path for the any. As you can see, it's evident by the Kony. If it's AP, um, it's going to give power to two people, I believe. I think it has, 
But let's see how much AP it uses per spell. I'm just really curious on uh, how many targets I could do this to. It would be nice if it could uh, do this to, you know, more than one, two targets. So that's seven. Okay, let me... Just gonna pop into the, the options here for a second. I want to turn on the, uh, where it shows you how much AP and MP is used. Oh, here we go. Fight. Uh, show action points movement use. Right, okay, so let me check exactly how much this cone is using. So I don't, I don't know if I can do up to three targets. So three, three. No, I can't do three targets. Only, only two. Yeah, so it needs to be uh, stimulated to hit two targets. So that's important to keep in mind. The thing is about stim is you could, you could stim more than, more than once, more than one target. But only once per turn. So right now, I stim the, the Inu. So the Inu has 2 AP. And when it comes back around my turn, I could hit, I could do a new target with it. So you more or less could stim two targets at a time. And uh, yeah, and it just goes around doing power. And then if I hit him with the... The air spell to switch him into the air state. I haven't learned the names quite yet. Resonating word. That's gonna switch him to air, and now he's gotta run around and give MP to people. So these are spells. I wouldn't. Well, the uh, the water one, as an intelligence any, I wouldn't necessarily level. But let me let me check the spell specifics. Does it get a big buff from range? Check out. Uh, my phone's laggy. Yeah, it gets a little bit of range. I know the the air one gets the range is massive on that. But like I said, uh, these are useful to have on your spell bar, just because you might need to switch the coney. So definitely more on the utility side of things. So that's the coney. Uh, it's a little bit more ver versatile than what it used to be. The next big change that any got is she could summon. Uh, vials or flasks and these are pretty cool so so the one you're going to be using as an intelligence is the uh, uh, remedy flask and you gotta put that out it shows you the area of effect before you summon it and that's just gonna stay on the field it's pretty static and what it does is it's gonna put people in the bless mark state uh, it doesn't heal it just puts them in the bless mark so that's uh, another way you could apply the state to people without ac actively doing it um, so it's kind of like a passive summon so when it dies bust it Which is pretty, uh, it's pretty chunky too. It's got over a thousand HP on it. So it could take a little bit of a beating. So when it dies, it's going to put a glyph, uh, which is pretty much going to be a healing glyph on it. And it heals pretty decently. But its main purpose is going to be to mass bless your team. It heals at the end of the turn, not the beginning. So as long as you're in it, it's going to heal you, which is not bad. Uh, this glyph is not affected by the bless or or the bless state or the uh, heal buff effect from like a sparkling word. But the heals, they're, they're not too crazy um, that it would be such a big deal if the uh, glyph heals are affected by that. So that's the uh, remedy mask. And now let's talk about the toxic flask. I'm not sure if it's something I would level. It, it is interesting. Um, and again, it shows you the area of effect, and this is going to be your poison flask. And every turn, it, again, it's, it's kind of like a passive summon. It's just going to sit there and just poison. Which could definitely push numbers if you were like a full air build. 
It's, it's neat. Uh, so right now, how much did it hit? 130. So let's say if I'm a full agility any. More or less double that. So like around 260 per, per, per poison. And it could probably hit around 500 per turn once you stack them. Which, you know, it could add up. I mean, the thing is, with this, you do have to keep your enemies or your opponents within the glyph too. But I'm sure people will find ways to, to make this thing work. But even me being half uh, agility, as much as I love the idea of it, I, I probably won't be leveling up. But it's cool. I, I love the idea of the any having flask. And just like the remedy flask, uh, when it dies, or I like to think when it bursts, uh, it puts out the glyph on the floor, which is a cool little after effect. Um, it's it's bulky too. So man, I could definitely see these as being as like LOS blockers, uh, path blockers. But yeah, level six, they definitely have a good chunk of HP. And what's cool about the poison flask is it blows up when it, when it dies. So here, so it's a little bit of uh, synergy too. If you use the Racing Eden Ward, which is the same spell that's used with uh, Kony to switch them. If the flask is lined up with an opponent, you can slide it towards the enemy. So here if I hit it, and it could do that up to five five cells apart. And this is a really cool option to give it any, just to move the thing around, uh, keep it within the foray, and blow it up when it's in a good position. Not sure if it has an AoE on it or it's just gonna be right next to it. So 500 is not bad. And just double that number for a full air build. And if the enemy stays on the glyph, it's gonna poison them. So again, we might have to check out the uh, the full air build on the any. It could be interesting. And uh, here, and now let's check out another little bit too with the air branch. So say, say your ally is blessed, so here let's bless the Inu. If we use the spell Draining Word on an enemy, everybody who's blessed is going to get healed with it. Regardless, here let's see, I don't think the proximity matters, so here let's, let's push this Inu out of the way. So let's say this Inu is like this far away, your team's kind of scattered around. If I hit the enemy with the spell, there you go. It's gonna heal him. So that's kind of like the gimmick with it. Yeah, it's kind of. And it doesn't. Rem the only thing that that's terrible about the spell is you only can do it once per target. So uh, the payoff's not great for setting this thing up. I mean, it, it's it's neat that you might be able to heal. You know, two or three people with uh, with the spell. It would be so much better if you could use it two or three times, but definitely a hard pass. Uh, and the other spell is the uh, the mocking word, which uh, some of the spells is kind of questionable. It doesn't seem that great. <laughs> so that's the intelligence any. Uh, I I love it. Uh, I think this is a great change for the for the any. Definitely a positive impression for me. Uh, a lot of people were sad that we did lose Molotov, which was kind of like the Super Saiyan uh, spell for the any. But it's kind of somewhat there still. So you want to summon your Kony. Hit him with the uh, overwhelming word. You know, just kind of buff up, take that turn to buff up. And the cool thing about this is like, you don't get locked out from healing which was the downside of Molotov and how it was kind of balanced. Let's we'll see, let's hit the pouch with the wand. You know, the, the any still pushing numbers. She's still pushing numbers. Look at that. Those numbers are solid, man. Solid. And this any is no, in no way optimized either. <laughs> Especially with the heals. I think the any just got better. Overall, it's more fun. No matter what branch you go with, um, the any is gonna be a good option. As a main character, as a support, as a hitter, out of all things, it just became the clutch just became so well rounded. 
Uh, anyways, so let's see. Do we miss anything? Did we we didn't talk about the curse state. So the curse state is interesting. Um, so like I s here, I, we might have to here. Let's beat up this punching bag. My phone is starting to lag. When I do long videos like this, my phone whew, just catches on fire. Oh, does it go either way? It's like, why can't I hit the punching bag? Okay, so let's attack another bag. Let's get the Inu back in here. Okay, so the curse state, um, as a int build, it's going to be piercing word. Like I, I mentioned before, this is going to be your, your mark setter. One, one of your mark setters. Okay, you hit him. That's going to put, uh, I keep saying curse state, it's curse mark. Uh, curse mark. So as an int build, um, curse mark is going to work in reducing the, the power of your enemies. So this is going to work similar to how the Kony works but in this case you want to follow up with specific elemental attacks to trigger the effects of the curse mark so since i'm a, an int any i'm going to be triggering i'm mainly going to be following up with fire spells or your one of your party members could, could follow up on it but let's focus on any so with a fire attack follow-up What's going to do is to reduce the power by 100, which kind of leans into the this role of the intelligence any. Uh, and again, coupled with, you can combo this with a revitalizing word and, and this curse marked effect, you know, you're going to be reducing a good chunk of damage. We did lose preventing word, but it's just way more effective in, in protecting the whole team rather than just that one single target. It's not as straightforward, but definitely a whole lot more interesting and dynamic. I love it when the spells synergize, combo off each other. I just personally, I, I just think it's way more fun and engaging. So that's the gist of the uh, curse mark coupled with the fire spells. And each element kind of has an effect. So cursed with water. That's going to do additional damage pretty much. I, I'm not sure if it's going to double your damage. But if you hit a cursed enemy with a water attack, uh, why didn't it work? Oh, okay. So, so this works like the blessed mark too, where it's just like a one-time deal sort of thing. So once the mark is used, it gets it gets removed. Okay, so cursed. Okay, so you saw here how it kind of gave two lines of damage. So that's pretty much what the uh, curse mark does under the water effect um we might have to check that out uh could be good damage again the the water branch is the uh the damage path uh and then finally oh not finally because the curse mark actually works with all four elements so let's curse it again the air one is interesting. The air one, anybody who's next to an enemy that's cursed and you hit with the uh, air spell, it's going to work kind of like a release type of, uh, type of effect. So let's hit him resonating word and that's just going to push everybody out the way. Uh, more mobility options for the any uh, another kind of like get off me type of spell kind of keep keeping the any mobile on his feet able to to move around uh, especially if it gets locked you know you definitely have options now so that's the cursed air effect on it and finally there is an earth effect for the curse mark Since the any doesn't have any earth spells, 
I mean, I guess you could do uh, the chafer. Uh, allies could follow up on it with any of the elements. They can also trigger off the curses. So here, let's hit the, the bag with an earth attack from the Inu. Uh, let's just hit it with the shell of Billy. You're going to see the, the line here on the fight log. Minus one effect duration. So pretty much you're going to umber witch by a unit of one turn. You could have a uses in uh, PVN, PVP. You know, it's just a good tool to have. More more options for the any. Just, just a good thing. All right, and let's see. Did did we miss anything? No, I, I think I think we covered everything when it comes to the the int any. Well, uh, int agility hybrid any kind of hit uh, two birds with one stone here. <laughs> definitely a lot more tools to play around with. I definitely have to reconsider some of the stuff. I might need more summons. My uh, pre revamp any. It was getting by with uh, just nine AP, and she's still missing like important gear. So as an int any. You definitely want to have the flask out. Uh, you definitely want to have the coney out doing its thing. Yeah, see, I can't summon the coney because I have two. Wait, how come the coney didn't come out? Is that a bug? Oh, I only have two, two summons. Yeah, so I definitely have to get another... So let's bust that. Keep passing. So with these flasks, you can only have one out at a time. So you can't really just spam the field with them. Much like the Kony. Beforehand you can have like three Konis out doing your thing, but only only one time now. So yeah, you definitely I think two, two summons should suffice. Maybe three. If you play with Schaefer, uh Kawit too. Especially since you have access to this kind of swapping spell. You know, it might get you out of a, a tight situation. But I, I love this any. This any is so cool. And like you saw before, you know, still hits pretty hard at at, uh, with, at level 200. Yeah, so even the summons get these uh, maybe 5% damage sustained effect, which is awesome. With the power buff from from the uh, Kony, yeah, you can squeeze out. You definitely squeeze out damage from the from the any. I think I think we might have to check out the chance branch. Look at that, just mobility options. I was not able to get to the Inu where I was. Swap with the punch bag and right next to the Inu. Alright guys, since we're at it, uh, we're going to check out the, the water any. Uh, I just took my Inu and just class switched them. So we're just going to maybe check out the, the damage. The the chance, the new chance any, it's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, 
this focus, like I said, is going to be damage. So we're going to summon out any, I mean, uh, summon out uh, Kony, stim it, and what is this one's the, um, what is this spell called? Uh, striking Word. So Striking Word is going to be your, your cursing spell. It's going to be kind of like your, your bread and butter as a chance any. So it's going to leave a curse mark as you see there. Yeah, and then when you follow up with an attack, um, like I said, when you follow up with an elemental attack, when the target is cursed, it's going to do something different. In this case, a chance one is going to double, I want to say it's going to double your damage. Um, so right now the, the bag is cursed. We're going to hit him with Jarring Word. 365. And then because of the curse, it's going to add that 328 to it. So that's like, how much was that? Oh, come on, uh, six hundred, a little bit over six hundred damage. Let's hit him with this one. Yeah, it's just gonna double that line of damage. Three twenty-eight, three twenty-eight. Curse it. Hit him with the Vampiric. Yeah, double damage is doing over. The the thing about the the chance branch is, a lot of these spells are just once per per target. Oh, did I? Is, is he in a water state? No, he's in the fire state. All right, so let's put it in the water. So this is definitely going to take some time to get used to that your Kony isn't in the state you want it to be. So it's uh, overwhelming order that switches them. Okay, he's in the water. This spot has pretty good range too. So water Kony is going to give me power. And then this spell. So this is kind of like the almost 800. This is gonna be like your heavy hitter spell, exhausting word. So pretty much how this spell works is you're gonna to want to curse multiple enemies, and its power is gonna be based on how many enemies are cursed. Um, since I only have one enemy, which is the the, the punch bag. I'm not sure how it scales, but I mean, as you saw already, with just one cursed target, one cursed enemy, 800. And probably with a good, a really good chance it, you could probably push it to a uh, thousand. Chance any definitely, it definitely hits hard, and um, I, I see it being used in PvP. Who, who would have thought that any was going to hit like a tank? So it's, so it's kind of like the equivalent of the. Um, in a sense of the um, settling word for the uh, int any, it's just a heaven heater spell. Yeah, that, I mean that's pretty much the, the chance any. Right, let's uh, switch over really quick to the uh, to the air any. I kind of want to check out the the damage, so I'll be right back. All right, so I just did a, a quick class change on my Osa, since my Osa is agility, and she has all the uh, agility stuff already. So we're just gonna test, give this a quick look. Okay, so a resonating word. Let's check out the damage on that. 469. Close to 500. Let's can we get a crit? About mid 500s on a crit on the spell. For 3 AP, it's, it's not too bad. It's alright. Yeah, it's decent. So uh, so this this spell has a little bit of synergy with, with the Kony, of course. We saw that. With the Kony out, 
gonna resonate it, and that's gonna make it air coney. It's gonna get run around, give MP. Um, and also synergizes with the vial. So let's talk about the vial really quick. So this is gonna be a big, big part of the uh, agility. Any. Um, much like the uh, remedy flask, it's just gonna sit there and do its thing. In this case, gonna poison. Uh, full agility is pushing 300 points of damage on it, which is not bad. You can definitely add up, especially if you can keep it within the vic vicinity of where the fight is happening. Um, so 600 ish per turn, and on AoE. Yeah, and that could be that could be really cool, especially you know if you got multiple enemies just around there and just taking on their health. It's not bad. Also, another thing you notice, it's putting the 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 pouch in this infected state. So depending on on the level in infected state, when the flask gets destroyed or when it gets bursted, it's gonna deal damage based on the level of the state. The, the opponent is in. So right now it's at level 3. So if it were to die, it's gonna do that that damage to the pouch. And the the range on it doesn't really matter. As long as the enemies are in that infected state, it's gonna hit them. Uh, so say, you know, it's, it's the, the beginning of the fight, Everybody's up close, it's fighting in the close, close proximity, and you know the flash has a few turns to kind of do this thing. And say, you know, the fight kind of moves. Um, that's another thing too. You can use your friends and um, your allies and your enemies to kind of move things move the flask around if, if it's lined up with them. So if you hit him with a resonating word, it's gonna move the, that thing around. So that's gonna help you with kinda keeping this thing around around the fight. Uh, let's see, so infected state three. So I'm just gonna blow it up. And there you go, it hits the, the, the pouch. Which is pretty cool. Uh, the only thing is you gotta wait for it to, to build. If you blow it up right when you... Right when you summon it... It's not gonna do anything. So that's something you gotta keep in mind. But the poison, yeah, the poison adds up. 300 and then... Say if the cooldown... Let's see if we could uh, time this thing up. Since you're gonna be agility any too, I mean you're gonna be able to lock things to be able to lock things in place as well. So here, let's let's tackle another pouch. Flask. Oh, here, let's uh, put out a Kony too. Like, I think the um, uh, which one was it? It's not striking word. This one, overwhelming word. I think regardless of what uh, what build you are, I think the the water Kony is gonna get a lot of use just because of its power ability. Yeah, that, that health starts ticking down really quick. And if you, if you summon another one, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna insta kill the one you already have. So that's a good way to kind of st start stacking this, this stuff. You can only summon one at a time. So there it kills it. When it dies, it puts out a glyph, a poison glyph. 
And that's just going to be another line of damage as well. One, two. One, two, three, right there. Almost a thousand damage worth of just poison. So I'm, I'm sure people are going to find ways to like come up with shenanigans with this thing. Uh, so lastly, well not lastly, a draining word. It's uh, going to be your, your other air attacking spell. And we need, we need to get another pouch here. Attack. Okay, so what was this? A draining word. Alright, so draining word is that funky spell where you can, you can only use it once per uh, target. And it's going to heal everybody if they're blessed. Um, let's see, 500 for a non crit. Can we get a crit? I could probably push 600 with a crit, which is uh, for something that could be used only once per target. Definitely feel like it could hit a little bit harder. It's a little uh, constraining. Just, yeah, I just can't. Just can't do it. But yeah, definitely um, this flash thing is, is a big part of uh, of the agility. Any. So, so lastly, we're gonna look at a mocking word. Um, I need an opponent for that because it works. So this one works based on the MP they use, and I get a feeling it's gonna do pretty good damage. At least I'm hoping. It, it will. So I'm um, just gonna cut here really quick and um, we'll get the, the e ring back in here so we can test that out. Alright, so we got the. Uh, so we have an opponent here. Okay, so. You know, this has decent range. Be able to snipe somebody with it. Alright, uh, here, let's put out the Kony. I feel like this is going to be like the, uh, the way to start things. Get that power boost. Alright, so let's send him with the mocking word. Two turns, it's on it. And let's move the Inu for MP. Alright, Inu moves. Steph. Whoa, five, 500 damage! <laughs> that, alright guys, that's not bad. 500 damage. Uh, you can only use it once, once per turn, once per target. And it's got a little bit of cooldown. So yeah, that's a good way to punish somebody who's, who needs to move around. Or definitely keep somebody just from moving. Let's accelerate. Oh, we can't accelerate the unit. It's not an Inu anymore, it's a Nanny. Oh, okay, so it only lasts one turn. Alright, so let's, let's hit him again. Let's see how much it. Just want to be. 125 damage. The, uh, the Inu only has like 7% air resistance, so. It's pretty much isn't being resisted at all per MP used. Okay, does it crit? Can I crit? Yes, I can. All right, so that was a crit. One hundred and fifty on a crit. So let's say. 150 times 6, that's 900 points of damage right there to punish somebody who's going to use all their MP. Which is, honestly, it's not bad. Uh, definitely a P uh, PvP spell. Um, PVM, I don't see it being useful that, that much. Uh, monsters usually just run up to you and once they're right next to you, that's, that's kind of it. Or you, you run up to them. 
so you can beat him up. Uh, PvP is more of a keep away kind of gameplay. If you try to keep your distance, have your opponent come to you, then the other way around. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's not bad. Overall, I think the Agility Any is the most interesting out of all of them. It's a little bit quirky. Uh, it reminds me of the uh, Agility Osa, where... You know, depending on your team composition, um, it's going to shine well. Yeah, so kind of press the damage right there. That was a crit too. But yeah, Agility Any uh, definitely has options. Uh, it's, it's very interesting. That is so cool. There's going to be a lot of interesting tech with Agility also. But it definitely looks like it's going to require a lot of work uh, to, to make it work, to make it shine. But it's just really cool to have it as an option. And I think that's going to do it, folks. Uh, so that's a look at the uh, Intelligence slash Agility. Any Ripsa. I did forget to talk about uh, Regenerating Word, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, I was really, I was already kind of leaning into making it a hybrid build, just because of her set has a lot of agility already. And I did want to run her with the uh, Submerge Hammer, which requires a lot of agility. But I'm really looking forward to start showing her off in some of the dungeons. I'm excited to take the, <laughs> the Any into uh, some of the F3 dungeons. I did have to run the uh, the skeleton dungeon really quick just because my Annie didn't have to cheat for summoning. Even though I was over the level cap, I had a blast. All right, sweet. So this was a hands-on preview on uh, how I would run my Annie, which leans more towards intelligence, support, the heals, with a little bit of agility. But let me let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts? Are you excited? Hope you guys really enjoyed. Just kind of me messing around. You know, just testing the new any. Until next time, this is Challenger EX. Like and subscribe.